Anybody here know anybody else who is not really living life? Do you know what I mean? Of course we're all alive, but I, I, I mean really living life. Anybody know anybody who's just kind of enduring? You know what I'm talking about? Just kind of enduring. Just getting through it. Not really not really excited about life, not really enthusiastic about life, much less Jesus Christ. William, the New Testament readings this morning address this very, very clearly and vividly. And we're going to dive into it this morning. Because the truth of the matter is, it may not be that we actually know somebody. There may be some of those somebody sitting in here today. And somebody who may see this and are here at the end or hear this in the future. Romans 12, 11 to 13. Just a few verses. Never be lacking in zeal. But keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with God's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. And then we turn to John chapter 10, verse 10. By the way, this opens up with the, it says the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. You know who the thief is, right? Satan. Satan. And then you see the opposite of the thief right after that. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full, to the fullest. Let's just read that one more time. The thief comes only, only, only now. Satan comes only to steal and kill and destroy. That's all he does. Father lies. Jesus Christ does the complete opposite. He says, I have come that they may have life, that you may have life, and have it to the what? To the full. To the full. We're not talking about having a little bit of life here or having a middle life here. We are talking about having full life. That is one of the main reasons why Jesus Christ came. 